Dear students, I, Mr. Vishal Shah, Assistant Professor, Krishna Institute of Pharmacy, Karad, welcome you all to this fourth session on the effect of substituents on the reactivity of monosubstituted benzene. As you remember, in previous part, we have seen which are the two electronic effects that affect the reactivity of monosubstituted benzene towards the electrophilic substitution reaction. In that case, we have seen these two effects are inductive effect and the resonance effect. Also, in previous lectures, we have seen that the when there is a presence of the nitrogen atom, oxygen atom as well as the halogen atom, if they are directly bonded to the benzene ring due to the inductive effect they withdraw the electron density and due to the resonance effect they donate the electron density means because due to the presence of the nitrogen atom oxygen atom and halogen atom these types of the groups possesses the both the effect inductive effect as well as the resonance effect but whatever these effects are there these effects are opposite and due to which the net effect it depends upon the results of the these two effect here in this diagram also we have seen that the whatever these elements are there these elements are electronegative so they inductively withdraw the electron density and whatever the electrons that are present on the benzene ring they are going they are pushed towards the this element and that's why net electrons that are present on the benzene ring they are less also as due to the resonance effect because these elements are having lone pair of electron as this lone pair of electron is donated to this benzene ring so they increases the electron density by donating electron to the benzene ring but what happens Actually, if we consider if these two effects, if they are happening simultaneously or they are taking simultaneously, what happens? They may cancel to each other. But in practical, this does not happen and it depends upon which atom is bonded directly to the benzene ring. Means whether nitrogen is bonded, whether oxygen is bonded or whether the halogen is bonded to the benzene ring. Now, let's see this effect. When a neutral that is the oxygen and nitrogen atom if it is directly bonded to the benzene ring the resonance effect dominates and the net effect is electron donation means if you remember we have to decide when oxygen nitrogen and halogen if they are bonded what happens here when the oxygen and nitrogen if they are directly bonded to the benzene ring instead of the inductive effect here resonance effect is dominated and due to which instead of withdrawing effect here donating effect is dominated and oxygen and nitrogen atom which they are having the lone pair of electron this lone pair of electron is donated to the benzene ring and due to which net electron density that is present on the benzene ring increases similarly when halogen is bonded to a benzene ring the inductive effect dominates and the net effect is electron withdrawal means the halogen if it is bounded directly to the benzene ring instead of resonance effect inductive effect dominates and halogen is more electronegative as compared to the carbon atom so it withdraws the electron from the benzene ring and due to which net electrons that are present on the benzene ring they decreases and that's why the when halogens are present the reactivity of benzene towards the electrophilic substitution reaction is less here also we can uh, def explain it with the help of this diagram also here you can see nitrogen is directly bonded to the benzene ring for example aniline in case of phenol also oxygen is directly bonded to the this benzene ring now here as we said these both the groups are capable of showing inductive effect and the resonance effect but 
as they are capable of showing both the effects only one effect is dominated and in case of the nitrogen and the oxygen this effect is resonance effect where the resonance effect is donating and when they show the inductive effect the inductive effect is withdrawing in case of nitrogen and oxygen here you can see both are having lone pair of electron and as they show the resonance effect this whatever the lone pair of electrons that are present on the aniline they are donated to the this benzene ring and as these electrons are donated to the benzene ring net electrons that are present on the benzene ring they increases here also in case of phenol also whatever oxygen atom is there that oxygen atom is having the two lone pair of electron these lone pair of electrons are easily donated by the resonance effect to the benzene ring and due to which net electrons that are present on the benzene ring it increases so when nitrogen atom and the oxygen atom if they are bonded directly to the benzene ring the electron donating resonance effect predominates means instead of the withdrawing inductive effect electron donating resonance effect predominates and that's why this amino group or hydroxyl groups they are known as electron donating groups and hence when such a elements are present it shows the donating group donating effect and due to which the substituent places a negative charge at the ortho and para position and that's why when you perform the electrophilic substitution reaction of aniline the electrophile is substituted at the ortho and para position and not a meta position okay so this is about the nitrogen and oxygen when they are directly bonded to the benzene ring similarly electron withdrawing inductive effect is predominated when halogens are directly bonded to the benzene ring though here the lone pair of electrons that are present with the this chlorine and bromine also these groups or sorry these elements shows the inductive effect because they are having more electronegative negativity as compared to the carbon atom due to which the whatever the electrons that are present on the this benzene ring are there they are withdrawn towards the this chlorine and bromine atom and due to which net electrons as they are pushed towards this chlorine atom the net electrons that are present are less so here due to which the inductive effect is there that inductive effect is predominated and that's why the electron withdrawing groups these are considered as electron withdrawing groups and that's why when you perform the reaction of the chlorobenzene or bromobenzene such a reactions are very slow you will require more amount of reaction time as well as the catalyst to perform the electrophilic substitution reaction these substituent also are known as ortho para director because though they are having the electron withdrawing effect the whatever substituent is there that substituent is placed at the ortho and para position because they show the electron withdrawing inductive effect another example we will study here for example benzaldehyde now here you can see the structure of benzaldehyde now we can divide this particular structure like this this is your benzene ring here instead of carbon i will consider it as a which is double bonded to the b such a types of the structure such a type of structure means what benzene ring a double bond b here the whatever this b is there that b if it is more electron negative as compared to the a all such a groups shows the both inductive effect and resonance effect and these groups are showing the electron withdrawing effect means electron withdrawing inductive effect as well as the electron withdrawing resonance effect and as both the effects are same they reinforce each other and whatever the effect is there that effect is observed more 
For example, here you can see this oxygen is more electronegative as compared to the carbon atom. Now, due to the inductive effect, what happens? Whatever these pi electrons are there, these pi electrons are donated towards the oxygen atom. And due to which, what happens? The as the electrons that are present on the carbon atom as they are withdrawn by the oxygen atom, this carbon atom withdraws the electron that are present with this benzene ring and due to which again this carbon atom becomes electron deficient and due to which again it withdraws the electron from the neighboring carbon atom. So this sequence continues and that's why the benzaldehyde that is the aldehydic functional group when it is present on the benzene ring it withdraws the electron from the benzene ring and due to which the polar carbon and oxygen bond withdraws the electron density from the ring inductively. Also, the, this aldehydic functional group, it is capable of showing the resonance structure. Here you can see how that the, because whatever these particular pi electrons are there, these pi electrons are shifted towards the oxygen atom. And due to which what happens as here the bond between carbon and oxygen is broken down due to which what happens this carbon becomes electron deficient. So it withdraws the electron from the neighboring carbon atom and as it is very easy to break the pi bond the pi bond is easily broken down and the these electrons are shifted towards the carbon atom. So in this way, due to the resonance also, it removes the electron density and due to which net electron density that is present on the benzene ring, it decreases. And due to which, as here, when aldehydic functional group is there, it shows the electron withdrawing inductive effect as well as it shows the electron withdrawing resonance effect as both effects are in same direction they reinforce in reinforce each other and due to which the effect that is observed that is the withdrawing effect that is observed is much bigger as compared to the single effect that's why such a compounds are a very less reactive towards the electrophilic substitution reaction so all such a groups like nitro group means initially what i have explained the structure a is equal to sorry a is double bonded to the b benzene ring a double bonded to b when this b group is more electronegative as compared to the a all such a group shows the deactivating effect other examples include carboxylic acid group then ketone functional group then nitro group then amide functional group so all these functional groups if they are directly bonded to the benzene ring they will show the withdrawing effect and due to which they deactivate the ring and that's why such a compounds are going electrophilic substitution reaction at very less speed and you will require more amount of temperature more amount of reagent as well as the different catalyst to perform the electrophilic substitution reactions of this particular benzene ring. So in this way these few examples are there where we can see that the when a different substituents that are present on the benzene ring the rate of that particular compound to undergo electrophilic substitution reaction changes and this change in the rate change in the speed is determined by the functional group that is present on the benzene ring. If only alkyl functional groups are there, they will carry out the activation of the benzene ring and due to which such a compounds undergo reaction very fast. For example, alkyl benzenes. If there is a presence of nitrogen and oxygen, if they are directly bonded to the benzene ring, they also activate the benzene ring. If halogens, if they are present, they deactivate the benzene ring but substitution will take place at the ortho and para position and when all these benzaldehyde carboxylic acid nitro group if they are present they deactivate the benzene ring and place a positive charge at the ortho and para position and they show metal